Our kids are our future. They're the ones who have the biggest thing to lose right now. And so we need to protect that for them. Well, I think we're looking towards the future and our children and their children. And we want to give them a planet that's survivable. So that's basically what we're doing. Start from the bottom and work up. So it started for us with the buses. That was a, a huge concern. Uh, more so, I think, in the winter because uh, you could smell the exhaust in our hallways. Bill, our transportation manager, he has implemented a system of a five-minute idling time. It does make it easier on the schools not to have bu buses idling in their parking lots and, and around the city. They have five minutes to, uh, to idle when it's cold, turn off and on, and that's, that's it. The kids are out in the playgrounds. We don't want the breathing exhaust. We started first to campaign the schools, and we did that with, uh, with help from uh, the City of Red Deer representatives and Lafarge. Both of those two organizations got together and they created a program, and then we presented it to all of the uh, parents, staff, and students about um, the effects of idling. We had uh, the City of Red Deer come in, and they started off with a, a presentation to our students. And um, from there, they also created this resource for us to use within the classrooms. So teachers can use this resource. It's also an invaluable tool that we use to put in our newsletters. Well, we've got signage at the schools indicating idle free areas. And we do it at our shop. You know, if you educate people, tell them about the health effects. They have better buy-in. We have better buy-in with our parents. With No one wants to, um, be exposed to a health hazard. The parents are starting to get on board. That'll take a bit of time, but I think everything's going well. As soon as we started with the idle free, we saw a huge difference. The schools that have makeup air units that draw outside air into the schools don't have diesel particulates in the schools anymore. And that's, that's huge for us. Uh, that was uh, very beneficial. Um, just even noise level is uh, without the buses running in the mornings is just uh, wonderful so you can have conversations with the children on the playground. It's all about common sense isn't it right? If it's minus 40 you might have to run a little longer but if it's plus 30 you turn it off you open the windows you let the airflow come through so it's just a common sense approach to hazard control.